Okay, this is my, uh, basically my garage full of my cichlid tanks. I'm going to explain how they all work. This is my 125. All my fish are hiding right now because they got this light out. Basically, I got this one plumbed in with an overflow box right there with two J tubes in the back. And I have a one inch return that runs off a half horsepower sub pump, which is right there. I bought that at Lowe's for like $119. Does a little over 3,000 gallons an hour. We got a filter sock for all the water that comes in. Doesn't allow any particles back into the sump tank. Got a ball valve on here. You can see I got it turned down pretty, pretty far because the overflow can't keep up with it. This is a uh, UV sterilizer filter for a pond. There's actually a UV sterilizer bulb inside of it with bio balls and three layers of coarse filter media. And underneath, there's got a bulkhead on there with the inch and a quarter conduit that runs over to here to another sump tank with another 1600 gal uh, gallon filter with a UV sterilizer. This has actually got a one horsepower sump pump on it with a float valve attached to it. This guy does a little over 4500 gallons an hour. Basically, I got two inch conduit that all the tanks drain into, which here I'll show you on the other side. There's my top tank drains right there. Tank number two, three, and four. They all drain into this. And then right there you see all the ball valves. Each ball valve controls the flow of water that returns to each of the tanks. Uh, here's a 55 acrylic tank. The good thing about acrylics is you can drill with any type of hole saw. So if you see right here, I got a bulkhead right there. And I just glued two 90s on there. And uh, you can buy these little screen things that plug into one inch pipe. And then... Uh, Here's my uh, other 55 gallon. This has got a lot of uh, my babies in here. My peacocks, electric yellows, yellow zebras, blue zebras, red devils, blood, blood parrots. Basically I got an overflow box on this one too. Here's my uh, 55, another 55 hooked up to the system. I got my uh, blue peacock in here. I don't know if you can see him right now. Yeah, there he is right there. Here's my uh, 20 gallon acrylic tank. I just put all my uh, babies in here to keep them from getting eaten. There's uh, baby peacocks. Takes them about a year about when they're about two inches to actually start changing color with the blue zebras they get color as soon as they come out which is kind of cool and I have a couple three inch green spotted puffers in here I'm not seeing them here's some more of my 125s I'll go ahead and feed these guys and get them to come out for some reason. They're scared of that light that I was carrying around. Okay, right here, I got an automatic fish feeder. It's set on a timer, but I, I'm just going to manually feed them right now.
They should be coming out any second now. Well, I got about 50 more fish in there. For some reason, they're not coming out. I must have scared them. You can uh, check out other photos of my uh, tanks on ratemyfishtank.com. Under my username is cichlidmania. Actually, it took first place in October, November with this 125 at my old house now, this is kind of a new setup I got going on a little bit different thank you